Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Adriana Daniel. Several Gold Star families were honored today in Rothschild. The event aimed to thank these families for their sacrifice and honor the lives of those lost in combat. News 9's Wyatt Williams w joins us from Rothschild with how the community is showing their support. This statue honors Gold Star families, their families of fallen heroes. This statue is now home to Rothschild and one of four in the country and the only one west of New York. Freedom isn't free was the theme in Rothschild, honoring the families who have lost members of their circle who are regularly overlooked. The families often get forgotten. We, we celebrate our veterans almost daily. The families grieve differently. They feel it's a family affair, so you don't often know. You might work next to, go to church next to uh, a Gold Star family member and not even realize it because they don't talk about it. The family members were all given a yellow rose to honor them for their sacrifice to our country as well. And a brand new statue was put up showing a mother receiving the news her son had passed away fighting for the country. When their family member signed on that dotted line to serve our country, uh, they became part of the military family. Paul Gwilt has spent time with many Gold Star families over the years and shared a story about one that impacts him still to this day. I met a family whose son was killed in Vietnam. When I met them, uh, the mother had passed away, or excuse me, the father had passed away. Mom was still alive. She told me they still had their son's room exactly the way it was when we went off to Vietnam. And that gets you right here. Sorry. No, you're good. Congressman Derek Van Orden spoke at the event, even inviting all the families, if they're ever in D.C., to stop by his office, and he will give them a personal tour of the Capitol building. There's a permanent hole left in their family. They cannot sit across the kitchen table and talk to their spouse. They can't hold their hand when they go to church. They just can't do that anymore. So it's up to us to make sure that they understand that we get it, that the sacrifice that their uh, family members made for our freedom is not going to be forgotten. The Rothschild American Legion also said if any families out there have lost a loved one in service and are struggling, to reach out and they'll do everything they can to help. Reporting in Rothschild, Wyatt Williams, News 9, WAOW.